to my channel. Today I am doing this very dark kind of smoky look um, with a little bit in a corner glittery pretty stuff or shiny stuff. I wanted to recreate Jeffree Star's deceased um, makeup look because you're killing everybody with how fierce you look. <laughs> I loved how it looked on him and I had to recreate it. I'll link Jeffrey's video in the description as well, but if you're interested in seeing how I did this look, please keep watching. So the first step is foundation. I decided to use my airbrush foundation, which is Colair Radiance C103. And I just have an airbrush system at home, but obviously you can just use your normal foundation routine. I've just always had an airbrush and I've always used an airbrush like for wedding makeup and things like that so I figure I might as well use the product that I already have and it does give a really nice you know flawless look to your face. Then I took my Anastasia brow pomade in taupe and filled in my eyebrows like normal. Then I just went over that with my Napoleon Purdus Wonder Brow in blonde. For concealer, I used my MAC NC15 Pro Longwear Concealer and buffed it out with a brush over my eyelid as well. Then I just set my whole face with the NARS Translucent Powder. And the brush I used was a Spectrum like powder brush from the Glam Clam set. My favourite contour powder is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil, so I just went under my cheekbones and around my forehead and then underneath my jaw as well. I decided to go under my lip as well and the sides of my nose just to give my face a little extra dimension. For a luminous blush, I actually used a baked highlighter by Dose of Colours in the colour Pearl Dust. It has just a pink sheen to it, but I really like using this as a blush. I just think it makes your face look really glowy and amazing, exactly like this. <laughs> and for actual highlight, I used Becca's Moonstone. I did all the normal places like Cupid's bow and nose, but then I decided to go over with the Balm's Mary Luminizer as well for that extra sparkle. I actually took the eyeliner from a Too Faced Love palette, I think it's called, and used this as a base for all my other eyeshadows because it's going to be quite a smoky dark look. I find using either a waterproof eyeliner like this or a gel like pot is really good at kind of keeping the look on for longer and giving you that smokiness and intenseness that you want. And then I just used the opposite end of this to smoke it out slightly. And then I moved on to using a brush to blend it out as well. But as you can see, I went in my waterline underneath my lashes, all over my lid. It can be really, really messy. It doesn't actually matter. These are some single eyeshadows from Inglot that I have. Obviously Inglot now have square eyeshadow pans, but these ones are basically the exact same, they're just in the round pans. But I used the first colour is 501, which is a really light grey, and I used that to smoke out the edges first, and going underneath my eyes and blending out those harsher edges. Then I used the colour 376, which is a matte dark grey, to kind of go in my crease and over the eyelid as well. And finally, I used number 62 all over my eyelid and really smoked out this colour, made it really, really intense. Then I just went over with a clean blending brush and just smoked it out even more. This look is all about that really intense black, but it's also about keeping it really soft so that your eyes kind of draw in the focus. For eyeliner, I used a gel eyeliner from Napoleon. I went all through my waterline and tight line, and I also went a tiny bit on my lashes, very, very slightly on that lash line. Then I used my favorite mascara, the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and coated my top and bottom lashes, even though we're gonna put falsies on after this anyway. And then, typical me, I couldn't do this look without putting on a bit more eyeliner, so I decided to do a really, really thin line above my lash line and very slight wing. I didn't want to wing it out too much because I do that all the time, but it was just enough to kind of make me feel a bit more comfortable with having such dark eyes. I think it just kind of completes the look and helps your lashes sit on really nicely as well. 
which I do not remember which lashes I used. I think these were just cheap eBay lashes, um, but I just put them on with duo glue. And then I decided to wing it out even more because I can't look at myself without wing liner. I used the Too Faced Shimmer Dust that came in the Too Faced Vegas Nay palette. Um, it's just a kind of in between silver and gold. It's a really, really pretty champagne kind of tone. And I put this on with a little bit of my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. And then finally for lips, I used Jeffree Star's I'm Nude. This is a super, super nude tone. So if you're darker than me, honestly, I feel like it would look better. But on me, it looks a little bit corpsey, which is kind of the idea of this makeup look. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought or if there's any other looks that you want me to recreate. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. It's just Sophie Lollipop. And other than that, I hope you all are having a really great day and I'll see you next time. Bye. I don't even know. I can't talk anymore. Deceased. Deceased. <laughs>